Okay, so in a lot of my past video, I've said that filmmaking and editing are my creative outlets, something that I truly love and cherish. But like anything, basically, they are parts you enjoy, parts you love, and parts that you honestly hate. And one of the parts that I really hate about video editing is working on shots like these. They are not creative at all, just tedious and time-consuming. What you see in the final video is me talking clearly, being articulate and confident. But this is because of the magic of editing, because the reality of the raw footage is very different. I mess up a lot. I lose my train of... Um, I lose my train of thought all the time. And since English isn't my first language, I, someti I sometimes struggle and since English isn't my first language, I sometimes struggle with pronunciation. At least I can fix all this with editing so you don't have to sit through my painful takes. But for me, that part of the process is just boring and if I could find a way to make it easier, it would be a huge help. So like any good developer, I started wondering, could I automate this? Sure, there is tool like that that already exists, like Descript, but my biggest issue is that they are online and uploading massive video files takes forever when you don't have fiber internet. And also I find that these type of projects once in a while are fun anyway and it's a good way to learn as a developer and sharpen your skills. So coming back to my problem, I've been thinking about a solution for years and for the most part it felt almost impossible because it's not just about understanding words but the meaning behind. When you speak, you rephrase things on the fly, and editing needs to respect that. But now, with the LNMs we have, it finally feels like it's possible. I mean, I think. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but that's what we are going to explore today. I don't know how far I'll get in this video, maybe this will turn into a multi-video series, but hopefully we build something promising today. So, let's dive in. So I've been thinking about how I should tackle this problem. And I think the first logical step of this problem would be to first transcribe the video. Like that, I could get every words I'm saying in the video. And I could send this then to a LLM to like make sense of everything that I'm saying and make a clean script out of it. Once I have those two files, the transcript and the clean script, I need to find a way to align them. Basically what I want is to match the good part of the transcript with the final script so it can form like one continuous coherent version of what I was saying. And finally, since I'm editing this in DaVinci Resolve, I'd want to generate a .edl file so that I can import this directly in DaVinci. That way I can save time on the boring stuff, but I still keep the flexibility to adjusting later. And I think this is it. Hopefully with that implemented, I don't ever have to edit a talking shot again. That would be the dream. Okay, so the first step is to transcribe a video. I've been doing a bit of research and a good tools to use to transcribe video locally is Whisper. It's free, it doesn't require internet, so it should be perfect for the solution that I want to build. I think the easiest way to test this out is by building a Python script, so let's do this. Okay, so I am now inside the project that I've created. I've copied a video just to test the transcript and I've created a Python file to write the script. I could ask like Claude AI to do it for me, but because this is something I've never worked with, I just want to read through the documentation a little bit and uh, try to play with it on my own before like asking Claude AI to write it for me. So let's do this. Okay, so let's just try this script right here. Basically what it does, it loads your Whisper model that you want to use. It prints scribe and it prints the result. So let's try this. Oh, turbo doesn't work. Maybe try, let's try medium. Oh, and also I forgot to change this to 
video.mp4. Okay, now it should work. Okay, so we have it. Um, this was the uh, sponsor segment of the last video, so it seems to be pretty accurate. <laughs> and you can see how I repeat stuff all the time. You know, I started here, I restarted here, I <laughs> struggled there, and it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, it got something wrong, like the uh, LLM's name, but I guess that is fine. I think the overall text is good. The way I code has changed a lot over the past few years with the advancement of AI and LLMs. When ChatGPT came out, I started using it more and more whenever I had questions instead of going to websites like Stack Overflow. But over the past few months, my workflow has shifted again, this time because of cloud code. So when they reached out to sponsor this video, I thought it was the perfect fit since I've been using this tool daily. If you haven't been living under a rock, you probably saw that OpenAI just dropped GPT-5 recently. But here's the thing, most of what they announce, Cloud has already been doing this for months. In fact, Cloud has been ahead of the curve since Sonnet 3.5 launch over a year ago. And now with Cloud Code, it's honestly the best coding partner I've ever tried. Cloud doesn't just spit out snippet. You actually open it right inside your repo so it can understand your complex system architectures and works across your entire code base. That means it can coordinate changes across multiple files. It can keep your coding style consistent and even run tests or comments directly in your terminal. It feels way less like a chatbot and more like an actual teammate in your dev workflow. And performance-wise, Clodopus 4.1 solves real coding problems without needing extended thinking modes, while GPT-5 often needs its full budget just to keep up. That matters because with Cloud, you get predictable costs and consistent performance. So if you're a developer and you want an AI that can actually keep up with complex, real-world coding tasks, not just benchmark demos, you should check out Cloud Code. It's included with Cloud Max Plan, so you get both Cloud Code and Cloud AI in one subscription. Try it out yourself with my link below and see why more and more developers are saying ChatGPT for chat, Cloud for coding and deep thinking. All right, now back to the video. So I've been doing a little bit of research because right now we just have the text, which is not possible to do any editing with it. But if we want to like edit the video file after that, what I think would be great is to have for like each words, the starting frame of the video where I say this word and the ending frame of the video where I say this word. So I think to do this, I just need to modify a little bit the code. But I guess, let's see. Okay, so we have the result here. Um, this gives us the time at which point I say each words. Because video doesn't really work with time, I need to convert this in a frame. So I shoot all my videos into not 30 frames per second, but something like 23.976. Let's change this a little. Let's have text. Start time, end time, yeah, like this. Yeah, let's have this, this. And now if we print this, we should have the starting frame where I say the word, the ending frame. This one might need to be round to like the seal since it's the ending frame. If like the word stop in the middle of the frame, I still want the frame. So let's do like map seal. Okay, so. Let's import math. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so now we have the frame numbers. Does that make sense? 20 frames, just to say the word I. Oh yeah, maybe that makes sense. No, I was like, it doesn't take that much time to say I, but I mean, that's not even a second, so it, it might make sense. All right, so now let's try to take the text here. 
Now, if we open something like Claude, if I ask Claude, here I have a transcript of every words I say in a video in this format. This transcript contains a lot of mistakes, repetitions, and words that I mess up. Can you analyze it and output a clean script of what this script would be? Usually when I repeat things in a different way, always use the last version of it and don't correct grammar or words. Use it as it is. So let's try this. Okay, so it's cooking up something. I think you got it right. Let, let's play like the um, part of the video that I was saying this. It feels like every week there's a new AI tool popping up. One for right will generate a full video clip for you. No complicated software. All right, now back to the video. Wow, it got it pretty good. There's like part that I don't know if they use. Let me check something. Yeah, okay, so like you can see my last take, which was the good one, uh, I start with it feels like every week there's a new AI tool popping up. And in the transcript, they just kept every week there's like a new AI tool popping up. So I think like in earlier version, I was just starting with every week. So it didn't take the last take, which is not exactly what I want. So let me maybe change the, uh, the prompt. Okay, so let me modify this. Let's add emphasis on this, always use. Okay, so I don't know if this will change anything. Let's recopy the transcript maybe. Okay, so now it starts with, it feels like every week there's a new AI tool popping up. So I think now it understands what it should do. Okay, so that's, that's promising. So now I think what we should do is use this prompt as we set it and basically send it from our code. So let's do this. Okay, so this would be my prompt. Now, now let's use clone model. Instead of just printing, I want to create an array. Words that happen. Okay, so we have this. Now I should not need this anymore. So now let's import uh, entropic. Now if we do client equal entropic, can I just do like club task? Now if I do create clone model. Now if we print the rest zero dot text. What do we have? Okay, so let me like maybe put this in a variable so we don't have to uh, wait for the transcript all the time. Now if I try this. Okay, so we have it here. Um, was it? I feel like there's some part missing. And I'm just gonna copy the, the prompt we've used. Maybe this is gonna be better. Okay, so let's retry with this. I feel like it's missing some words. What was I using here? Um, Cloud Opus. Maybe I need to use Opus instead of... And see what it gives us. Okay, now I think we have something good. Yeah, we have the same answer, which is good. Good. Okay, so the first two steps are complete. I think the next step is what's going to be the most challenging because we have to align basically the, um, the transcript with the clean script. But uh, yeah, I guess it's promising for now. All right, so I think I'm going to click out for today because uh, it's now late. But uh, be sure to subscribe to not miss the part two of this video. And I'll see you soon, guys. All right, peace.